Wow, okay, before we get started with this video, I need to give a very brief thank you to our sponsor of this video, GT Arcade. GT Arcade is a great gaming platform with loads of good games like Rangers of Oblivion, Era of Celestials, Legacy of Discord, no, not that Discord, however, I do have a Discord and you could join it, but that's not why we're here right now. <laughs> and League of Angels, another game worth checking out. Look, okay, let's be real for a second. I'm gonna be completely honest. If I had a choice between taking my horse to the Old Town Road, playing a few Nintendo games on my Switch, or even just going outside and enjoying the day, I would much, much rather stay at home with a warm cup of cocoa, playing some sweet, GT Arcade games. And finally, GT Arcade are giving away a tasty $10 gift bag. You just need to click that link in my description. With all that being said, thank you so much to GT Arcade for sponsoring. Thank you to you guys for checking out GT Arcade. Let's just go ahead with the video, shall we? Will you please have quiet on the set? Uh, about to film. Everyone, quiet. Kev, can you, uh, can you cut that out? Stacy, stop with the typing. We're about to film the beat em ups news video. Who told the unpaid intern to get us coffee right now? If he slams that door on his way out, tell him he's not welcome back in. Everyone, good. Just kidding. It's only me. It's lonely. It sucks. <laughs> Breaking news. You know, the best part about me barely ever making these gaming news videos is that when I finally do, oh, there is so much good stuff to talk about. Oh, and having said that, with E3 right around the corner, you can expect this channel and I'm sure every other gaming channel on YouTube to be all busy as heck, uploading multiple different videos every day about all the crazy cool stuff that's happening. If you guys were around this channel last year, you might remember that I don't think I slept for like five straight days as I live streamed every single one of those E3 events and then made a follow-up video to them immediately after with my reactions. And yeah, um, well, that is definitely happening again this year because it was honestly fun as heck. So yes, I am very excited for E3. I'm gonna make a couple of preemptive E3 videos here on the channel in the next week or so and then once E3 starts, whoa, all heck is gonna break loose. But enough flapping my gums with this pointless information. You came here for gaming news. And gaming news, you're gonna get. And I'm gonna start with a big one, Super Mario Maker 2 multiplayer. Now, I actually intended on making a reaction follow-up video thing to that 15-minute Super Mario Maker Direct that we had. I did live stream it, but apart from that, I didn't actually talk about it. I kind of just ran out of time and felt like I missed my moment, but there is some new news regarding that, and I now is a perfect time to talk about all of it. But anyway, we got that trailer, and I guess I'll keep my reaction to just, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> my opinion going into watching that was, I'm already sold on this game. Like, there's no way I am not buying this. No, I don't know all the little tiny options and features yet, but I'm gonna experience that when I get the game. I wanna be surprised. But I will say that 15 minute direct was pretty good. It gave us a bunch of information. And one really cool piece of information I took away from that was, oh, it has multiplayer. Like going into that, I was like, it might just be co-op, you know, play with a friend in the same room. Two players was pretty much the feeling I had going into it. Since we saw Mario and Luigi on the cover of all the stuff, I was like, okay, two player co-op is probably gonna be a thing. But no, it's online multiplayer. Player. You can have four players in your game. That's freaking awesome. You're telling me I can make some kind of Mario stage and then call up my friends back home in Australia and say, hey, let's play my stage. I'm sorry, what's that? You, you can't play online with your friends? No, 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 I mean... No, that can't, that can't be right. That can't be possible. No, Nintendo wouldn't make that same mistake again. I mean, not after Super Mario Party, where you couldn't even play the board game with your friends online. It was just crappy little mini games. They wouldn't take all the backlash that games online got. Mind you, not fix any of those issues that people had. But they wouldn't then go and make another big game like this and not give us a fully fleshed out online where we can play with our friends. Oh, they, oh, they did, they did do that. You can't, you can't play with your friends online. It's just random, just random people. But, oh, well, I guess that kind of sucks, but at least I can make new friends, you know? Through the Switches, you know, chat system and online voice chat that it doesn't have. Wait, <laughs> hold on. So, um, I'd be playing online with a bunch of people I don't know and I can't even talk to them? 
I may as well be playing with NPCs. That is a massive oversight, and I still can't believe that Nintendo keep making the same mistakes over and over with their freaking, and mostly just with their online stuff. They just can't seem to get this right. I think their excuse was they didn't want it to screw up the online leaderboards or anything like that, but fine. Just don't have that count to the online leaderboards. Custom lobbies where you can play with your friends online, and it doesn't count towards anything. I don't know about you. But online leaderboards for me ain't fun. I know that I do not have it in my skill set to hit number one on the online rankings for pretty much any game out there. But you know what I do have within my skill set? The ability to make a custom lobby and play with my friends. And that for me is fun. Playing with friends is fun. Just saying, Nintendo. I thought you. I thought, I thought that was the whole point of your system. Maybe I'm wrong. Next! News! We probably will not see any of the new Pokemon games at E3. And now you might be thinking, if you haven't already heard the news, which I think is very impossible at this point, what? I wanted to learn more about Pokemon! Well, you will, because apparently we're getting two Pokemon Directs even before E3. Isn't E3 like 10 days away? What? What? Uh, this doesn't surprise me at all because they probably have so much they want to talk about as far as Pokemon goes. You remember last E3? Wasn't that the E3 that was like completely dominated by Super Smash Brothers? Obviously, there's going to be so much Pokemon stuff to talk about. They don't want to slap that in the middle of their E3. They want to, you know, keep that moving and flowing with a bunch of different stuff. So on Wednesday, June 5th, there will be a special Nintendo Direct focused on the new Pokemon game. Obviously, this is very exciting for the obvious reason of, oh, 15 minutes of straight Pokemon. But it's also exciting in the sense of, now Nintendo is freed up for E3. They didn't have time to talk about Pokemon at E3 because they have all of this stuff to talk about. What is this stuff? Well, we'll get to that. Because that's definitely a video all in on itself. It's going to take me a while to go through all of that, and I'm very excited. So... I mean, maybe subscribe so you don't miss that one. Moving on, I heard yesterday that Star Ocean was coming to Switch and I got really excited because I never finished the PlayStation 4 Star Ocean game, Integrity and Oceanity, whatever it was called, I can't remember. Okay, it was Integrity and Faithlessness, I was nowhere near it. But it's not that game, as cool as that would be. Apparently it's a remake of the PSP game, which was a remake of the Super Nintendo game. So we're like three remakes deep at this point. It's called Star Ocean First Departure R and I am excited for it, however, at the same time, I know nothing about this game or any of its remakes, so while I would prefer that PlayStation 4 title, it does open the doors to that PlayStation 4 title, and maybe this game will be fun too. I don't know. I haven't played it. Some of the biggest Switch news to come out of the last couple days is apparently my little fake direct that I made on April Fool's. Some of that is coming true. And as much as I wish that it was the part about Persona 5 Royal going to Switch, it's not. It's actually the part about Witcher 3 coming to Switch. And I just want to say, when I made that fake direct, I chose Witcher 3 because I thought it'd be a really cool idea if that game was on Switch, but I honestly, honestly felt like it was way out of the realm of possibility. I've played that game, that game's freaking awesome, and I just didn't see how that game was ever going to be on Switch. It was just a joke. It was a fake joke that I thought was funny, because it wouldn't be possible. And I actually hadn't heard any of the rumors that were going on like a year prior to this about The Witcher 3 possibly coming to the Switch. Switch. There was leaks like a year ago, some online listing of Witcher 3 Game of the Year Edition being sold and for Switch. Obviously those were pulled down and people were like, ah, well, maybe it's fake, whatever. There was no concrete proof of it until... Now, although it's not concrete proof, but it seems it seems like it's happening now. A user over on Reset Error has allegedly found photographic evidence of the Witcher 3 Game of the Year edition for Nintendo Switch. And according to this, it's going to be released on Switch in September. There's a lot of smoke on this one, and I usually say there's no smoke without fire, but then again, I said that about Persona 5 coming to Switch, and then that ended up being Persona 5 scrambled eggs or whatever it was. This one does look very likely, and I hope it's true. I never dived into all the DLC, and this Game of the Year edition comes with all that DLC. Plus, this would, in my opinion, be the best open world game on the Switch at that point. In my personal opinion, and I'm not supposed to have my opinion, but The Witcher 3 is leagues above Skyrim, just in what I find enjoyable in a video game. I can sit in my bed on my tablet Switch and play Witcher 3, that doesn't sound like a reality, that, that, that sounds like something that I would fake in an April Fool's video because funny. I guess time will tell on that one. Let's just jump 
right into it with some Sony news. Sony has bailed on E3 this year. Not surprising, but I don't want to get into it too much now because I do have an E3 pre-vamp video plan and I want to talk about all of that there. But to spoil it a little bit, we're at this weird changeover phase in console generations, not counting Nintendo who are always two years behind or two years ahead, whichever way you want to look at it. So Sony is gearing up for the PlayStation 5 and really don't have anything to show right now for it or just don't want to show anything right now for it until they're ready to unveil the thing, most likely be next year. They figured we just won't go, which is definitely the better option in my opinion. But with all this E3 hype, Sony doesn't want to just sit on their hands and watch their competition get all the glory. They do have a couple of games that we need to know stuff about and they're dropping information, release dates and trailers for them just before E3, just to get in that little bit earlier. So we're expecting for sure some Last of Us news, another trailer, a release date, all of that goodness, which is probably the thing I'm most excited about for this whole E3 season is just to learn more about Last of Us. And no announcements have been confirmed about Death Stranding, but they are teasing the heck out of it. Like just today, the PlayStation Twitch channel went live with a bunch of creepy hands just prodding the screen, stuff like that, building hype for the next week when they will inevitably finally give us more information on this game. Because apart from the fact that it has Norman Reedus and some light walking simulator gameplay in these beautiful environments, we know we still know nothing about Death Stranding. And I'll be honest, I'm actually good with that. Like, I, I almost in a way want no more information to come out. It's such a mystery. It's so intriguing. I don't want all the gameplay, all the elements, just anything kind of just ruined at this point. Yeah, this whole Sonic stuff that's been going on lately. The movie was revealed, it had a really weird trailer, the Sonic looked so stupid, there was Gangster's Paradise playing over it. I actually saw someone re-edited the trailer, took out Gangster's Paradise, and just put in the original classic Sonic music, and honestly, it made it a movie I would want to go and see, even with Sonic looking like a stupid gerbil man thing. It's something so small, like putting in the right music, made that trailer 10 times better. All the little stupid decisions like that. Like, I don't understand who was behind this Sonic movie, but they just, every little decision they make is completely wrong. Besides the fact, as a whole, it just looks like the most boring and uninspired story possible for a Sonic movie. But it does have Jim Carrey, and I'm excited about that. And I'm sure all of you heard already, but the movie actually got pushed back to 2020, as they make these changes to Sonic to actually make him look like, surprise, surprise, Sonic. Now, I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. I'll be completely honest. When I was making a list of gaming news, I was like, well, I have to talk about Sonic because I haven't made one of these videos since this whole Sonic thing was a thing and I never got a chance to talk about it. But now that I am talking about it, it's kind of hitting me pretty hard that this is old news and I have no point to it. I have no point to it. I don't know why I'm talking about it. I don't even like Sonic that much, so... I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> As I said, I have a lot of videos coming over the next few days because I am so stupidly excited for E3, even though I think it's gonna be a disappointing year. And I have a reason why I think it's gonna be disappointing and it's okay. Like it's it's really okay, I'm, I'm kind of glad. And I wanna explain why all of that in detail, so I'm gonna make it its own video, as well as I said I wanna make a whole video about Nintendo at E3. I'm actually about to film that right now as I end this video. So. I appreciate y'all watching this video, I appreciate y'all hair flipping all over that subscribe button and watching those videos once I make them. Oh, what the frick? RGT's been playing behind me this whole time? Ugh, big if true.